Hi Chad, this is Heather with Mercedes-Benz of Farmington. I just wanted to give you a quick peek of the vehicle that you inquired about. Well, here it is, the 2017 Mercedes-Benz GLS 450. This has got a 3.0 liter V6 bi-turbo. It has 362 horsepower with 369 foot-pounds of torque. This is the polar white color. It's also got 20 inch five spoke wheels, the illuminated running boards, it has an aromatic air suspension, it has lane keep assist which will put you back in the uh, lane if you swerve over. We've got crosswind assist helping you stay straight in the event of uh, large gusts of wind, active brake assist, attention assist and so much more. Back here you will see that it has a trailer hitch. I'm just gonna open it for you real quick. It does have the rear backup sensor and the rear backup camera. And here is a peek at the back for you. There is a lot of goodies that come with it. These are your mats and some of your other things. There's your tire. This area does lift up. You can store things down in that. It does have the tonneau cover, um, a 12 volt outlet. This is the third row seating, of course. And you can actually put the seats down with the touch of a button. And also back up, which I absolutely love. Very easy to use. As you can see, it has the ultra view sunroof. I'll give you a better peek of that in a moment. If you'd like, you can shut it with your key or you can shut it just with the buttons up here. If you push uh, this one, it will close it. If you push this one, it will lock and close it, which I'm gonna do because I wanted to show you the feature that it has to get in the vehicle with. This is equipped with a blind spot assist, which allows uh, you to become aware if somebody, an object or somebody is in the lane next to you if you don't see that and you go ahead and try to move into the next lane when something's there, it will actually audibly tell you in the vehicle, giving you enough time to react, but that's the blind spot triangle right there that lights up. I wanted to show you, um, I do have the key, but I'm not pushing anything on it. I'm just gonna touch the inside of the handle and the doors unlock, touch the outside and the doors lock. So when you go to get in the car, you just want to pull that and of course you can enter without having to have the key um, out all right so this does have keyless go this is the espresso brown mb tex with the anthracite poplar wood it's so shiny <laughs> all right so this has also got the harman kardon sound system i'm going to go ahead and just get inside but first i wanted to show you it does have the Mercedes-Benz illuminated door sills. Your seat is actually, um, this is just your lumbar control. On the door is where your seating controls are. You do have automatic headlights. And this is what it li is like when you start it. Of course, I have the door open. Anytime you open the door, the rear parking brake is going to um, initiate uh, stopping you from roll a roll away when uh, the vehicle is in, uh, when it started. Okay, so you have uh, intermittent rain sensing wipers. You've got a whole menu system here that you can access. It will show you everything uh, that you'd like to do just right here at the wheel. You can also run your stereo from the wheel, which is going to be the plus and minus is going to turn it up and down. <clears throat> and the mute button. You can take and answer phone calls here and talk to the car. If you want to put it into drive or reverse, you just want to push up. That's going to initiate reverse. It will show you on the uh, display right there. It does have the parking pilot, which I absolutely love. 
You can actually change the view if you would like. And um, what else? There's so much. Okay. <laughs> so put it in drive. Here we go. Just pushing down. Now you do have uh, different selectable modes, which will display here where it says C. I'm just going to twist the knob over here. I'm going to put it in sport. It changes to S individual where you can set up how you'd like each one of those components to drive whether you want a tight suspension or loose suspension along with uh, different settings including your air conditioning and um, auto stop start feature and I'm just going to leave it in sport for now to put it into park you just want to push on the silver button right here and then she's parked okay so you do have dynamic select which is what I was kind of going over with you there and you can access that here as well. The individual configuration was the one I was telling you about where you can actually set it to be how you would like on each of these modes. Say I want it to be sporty and comfort on the steering. I can blend those modes. So when I access the button here, and maybe slide from that all right you have manual mode there this is your command center which this is actually a touch uh, slide thing so just like your cell phone you just slide it that's what I'm doing now if you want to go into something you simply push down on it you can also access these things right here with your knob by spinning nudging and hitting enter the star is your menu system, and the arrow is a backup button. So I'm just going to push the menu, and it's going to show you all the different things that you can access, whether it's your navigation, radio, media, telephone. It does have Bluetooth connectivity. Vehicle settings where you can change um, your multicolor ambient lighting, which I absolutely love that as well. And um, this has so many things. Okay. As you can see, lots going on here. All right, so you do have the ability to uh, put it into surround sound. All right, and then just a quick sample for you as well. You have heated heated steering wheel, telescoping wheel, garage door openers on the bottom of the mirror there. Uh, this is the sunroof. I really, really enjoy this because of the shade as well. I like how they both cover up, but you do have a little bit of uh, light that saturates through there. It's pretty nice. That This front one does open and vent, but the back one is stationary. All right, there's a peek of the back for you. The seat. See that anthracite poplar wood. This espresso brown is just so gorgeous, and you can kind of detect some of the ambient lighting here as well. And that, that's a soft glow under your feet, in your handles of your doors. It does have memory seating on the passenger side as well. It does have heated seats, automatic start stop feature, dual climate control, on and on. I know I've said a lot, so I'm going to just get this to you. Talk to you soon.